this is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. In verse 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, and it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, of great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. I say, yeah, shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of your Hallelujah, Yahweh Shah. On this uh, July the 4th, 2022, at 10 uh, 28 a.m. Central Standard Time. And the highlight of this sit down lesson, the title is going to be for today uh, Rising in the Park, for this is not your rest, right? Because this place is polluted, you know, especially spiritually, you know, spiritually and physically, but mostly spiritually, you know. Because, you know, uh, even if even if a lot of things are justified or unjustified, you know, with the, the, the justice system, you know, to the learning the ways and philosophies of modern day Babylon, you know, it, it, it you know, the ways of this society, it'll definitely turn you turn you away from the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. Come back into a fold that you are an Israelite. You know, that you are uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know, because you're not going to be like the monks, all the nations, you know, all these different things, you know, they try to learn you uh, the ways of uh, modern day Babylon, learning the customs, you know, of uh, learning the customs and the philosophies and, and many different type of uh, things. That's the opposite of uh, Yahweh Bashim El Shai. That's why it says rising the part. That means spiritually, not physically, to get on a plane and go to the Middle East or go to Jordan or whatever. No, that means rising the part spiritually, learning the ways of uh, Babylon. Don't fully learn the ways of Babylon, you know, even though, you know, we are in this society of. Uh, physically, you know, in the flesh, you know, we understand, you know, we have to, gotta have a job, you know, to put food on the table, you know, take care of yourself, you know, do the things you, that you need to do, and here in Babylon to be able to, for you and your family to survive, you know, but like far as like, spiritually, learning the ways of uh, Babylon, just to, uh, you know, you gotta, uh, fit in just to get along and all that, you know, come back into the fold of who you are as being an Israelite, keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, have the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from your Bashim El Shai, and not fully be indulged into the ways of this world, even though, like the scripture says, uh, you know, uh, you can use the world, but not fully abuse it, you know what I'm saying? But don't be over thirsty of, of things, you know, of this world, you know. That's why uh, separate yourselves, learn the ways of, and customs of Esau, Edom, from the liberal side and the conservative side, you know what I'm saying? And learn the, the righteous ways of Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai, you know, to the best of your ability. And at least acknowledge that you are an Israelite. Even though it's going to be a lot of requirements of you once you wake up of being the Israelite, especially an Israelite man, you know what I'm saying? Because you got to uh, wake up to the fact that you are an Israelite. Keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. And be on the highways and byways. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. You know, in the learning the... Uh, the scriptures the right correct way you know 
because everything what you've been foretaught, you know, it was all lies from of modern day Babylon and of this world as well too. Not just only here in America, but globally as well too. Where all the twelve tribes will have been, you know, when the Israelites been scattered abroad, you know, and a lot of them waking up to the fact that they are Israelite and they separating their cells of what these countries have been scattered in and learning the ways and philosophies of, of these other nations and learning from that country as well too you know they turn back into the fold of being Israel in the last days you know that's why it says uh, rising in the part for this is not your rest you know this is definitely not our rest you know because it's already enough for you look at a prime example the children of Israel definitely don't like one another. The other nations sometimes can't stand us, you know, because we was going to be a proverb and a byword among all the nations where the Lord had lead thee, you know, to, to the justice system, you know, to the school system, to you being on your job, you know, because they already look at you like, you know, because they already look at your race as like, you know, these people are, are crazy, you know, they do crime all the time. You know, because we're going to put all the blame on them. Especially when Jacob's trouble hit. You know, when that time comes. It's definitely it's not going to be our rest in that, that time. It's fully definitely not going to be our rest in that time. You know, the hour temptation is coming at MOTV. You know, it's going to get a lot even more worse. It's already worse right now, you know. Especially when that time fully hits. When Jacob's trouble comes to full effect. And that hour of temptation of that MOTB and more prophecies take come to pass. And then you're gonna have the times we're entering, and then you're gonna have uh, people on the liberal side and the conservative side. You know, you're gonna have different type of clashes. You're gonna have food clashes, economic clashes, relationship type clashes, the racial tension clashes you're gonna have many, many different type of things that's going on and relates to different type of clashes and different type of categories, you know. There's already enough, you know, you know, where, like the scripture says, uh, learn not the way of the Gentiles, you know. Come back into the fold of your house, my Shemel Shai, you know. Keeping the law, statutes, commandments, acknowledge that you are an Israelite in these last days, like the scripture says, Seek him while he may be found, because the door of repentance is closed. You know, turn turn from the ways of modern day Babylon and not be involved in these uh, pagan pagan uh, holidays, because the Fourth of July was the independence of the the Edomites. You know, them uh, of July Fourth, seventeen seventy six. You know, because that holiday blew. That folly, I call it fo Fourth of Year Life Folly Day, Babylonian customs, you know, that belongs to the, the Idumians. That's their independence. That's not our independence. That's why it says, Arise and depart, for this is not our rest. Learn out the ways of the other nations, you know, coming back into the fold of you being an Israelite, keeping law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, you know, learn the scriptures. You know, learn more about your, your culture, your history, your language, your customs, you know, your people that have been scattered abroad. You know, learn more about your nation, you know, even though we don't get along with each other because we still learn the curses in the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 54. But, you know, spiritually separate yourself from modern day Babylon and learning the ways of modern day Babylon. Because it should surely, uh, it should surely destroy you with a sword destruction. That's why I separate ourselves spiritually, but not physically. Fully separate ourselves spiritually and learning the ways of uh, Babylon. Because like the scripture says, uh, surely your things is turned upside down and the whole earth is out of course. So learning not the ways of modern day Babylon, you know. Learn the ways of your help, Hashem Al Shai, while you still have the opportunity and chance 
Because like the scripture says, Romans 13 and 11, for now it's high time to wake out of sleep because it's salvation there and then we believe because our redemption draw or not, you know. So, uh, you know, flee from the midst of Babylon, you know, which is spiritual, you know. And I'm going to bring up that uh, scripture as well, too, since I mentioned it. Lucky if I'm spinning the right. Uh, yep. Let's see. Oh, it's so lucky. Jeremiah 51 and 6 and verse 6 through the Holy Scriptures and reads Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul be not cut off and hurt iniquity for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance and he will redeem unto her a recompense right because you're seeing what's going on spiritually in modern day Babylon you know Heavenly Father setting up divisions between the nations He's uh, with the economy, when everything going up, the food prices going up, the gas prices going up, the hyperinflation, the crash of the uh, Wall Street, because that plunged money into the economy as well, too. So he's seeing these many different signs of uh, the Heavenly Father. It's a mess of modern-day Babylon up, you know, because that means flee from the midst of Babylon, the learning the, the ways of a uh, modern day Babylon, you know. And I'm gonna uh, bring out another scripture as well, too. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Right, could you... That's why I brought out that book of Michael 2 and 10 for the part of Rise E for this is not your rest because it shall short score you with a sword destruction, you know, in many different categories. They try to demasculate the Israelite man, trying to feminize the Israelite man, trying to have the woman, the woman ruling over you, and many, especially the Israelite man. Now I understand, you know, our race, you know, we out here. You doing crowns towards one another and towards the other nations and all that, etc. But you look at like we fit the curses in the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 28, shall smite thee with madness, and then Deuteronomy 28 and 54, your eyes shall be evil towards your brother. You know, it's already enough the children of Israel going through, you know, many different things in this society, you know, and against each other and against the other nations as well, too. You know, even if it's right or wrong, you know what I'm saying? So that's why spiritually rising in the part, because this is not our rest. 
depart spiritually from Babylon and separate yourselves to the best of your ability, learn the ways and the philosophies of modern day Babylon. Come back into the fold that you being an Israelite, keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability, you know. That's why I say it's more unto them to go to Egypt. Because this is modern day Egypt, you know. Just like in uh, Egypt in the past, you know, when the most high heart and fervor's heart to let his people go, you know. And he said plagues upon that place he he destroyed. He destroyed uh, ancient Egypt. And he's going to mess up modern day Egypt as well too. So that's why, like, like I mentioned before, you know, don't, you can use the world, but don't fully abuse it. But don't put your fully trust in modern day Babylon, especially with the justice system and the system, you know, don't. Uh, put your full trust in the system. Put your full trust in your how by Shem Al Shai. And that's woe unto the children of Israel, especially the ones that's of this world that fully love this uh, Babylonian society. You know, that's why I say it's woe unto them that seek help unto modern day Egypt. You know, and they seek not the one, and they 1044 call on Yah by Shem Al Shai. But, uh, you know, they don't seek the Holy One of Israel, you know. They don't seek Yahweh Bashem El Shai. So that's why the Heavenly Father said, Woe unto them that seek help and put their full trust in Egypt. So that's why you got to put your full trust in Yahweh Bashem El Shai. The Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son as well, too. Especially in these last days, you know. Come back into the fold that you are an Israelite. Separate yourselves spiritually from the ways of Babylon and not fully trust in Babylon and not go down and seek help 100% help from modern day Babylon, you know. That's why I come back into the fold that you are an Israelite, keeping the laws, that's commandments to the best of your ability, you know. That's why you see the, uh, the men of the board, the servants, the true prophets of Yahweh, Yahushua. Waking up, uh, trying to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Like the scripture says, if you, you know, if you love me, feed my sheep. And that's what the man of the Lord out there doing on the highways and byways. You know, trying to tell you that you are an Israelite. You know, wake up that you are an Israelite, keeping the lost house commandments to the best of your ability. Even though a lot of Israelites are not going to wake up because they're going to still put they fully trust in modern day Babylon. Only a remnant is going to wake up in these last days because there's going to be so many different things that's be, that's going to be going on in modern day Babylon because it's been because it's, it's being prepared, you know. So, with that, I hope this uh, sit down lesson was edifying through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahusha. And uh, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, uh, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shalom and a ball, ball.